Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to set up a blueprint interface using an object reference variable. And this is a little different from my get actor of class method, but not much different. But if you want to send it by way of an object reference, I'll show you how you can do that in this video. And this should go pretty quick. I can't believe how many times I've had to go through this to finally figure it out. And that's one reason I'm doing this tutorial is just to create a historical record of <laughs> this is how you can do it. So let's just go into the first person. We're just in a first person template right here. And I'm just going to right click and I'm going to create a interface here, a blueprint interface. And I'll just leave it called new interface and we'll be passing a, a variable. And I'm just going to call this super, super function like that. And we're just going to pass a text variable. So I'll just call this text and we'll set it to text here. And this could be an array. This could be more than one function. This could be all kinds of stuff, but we're going to be doing this through the interface and we save and that's all we need to do here. So our interface is set with an input for text. Now we're going to right click and we're going to create a blueprint class. We're going to go to actor and I'm just going to call this dummy and we're going to double click in here and we're just going to give a physical representation to it, which will just be a sphere. And all this is going to do is print a string. So that's all this is going to do based on a call from the first person blueprint. So on the receiving side of the blueprint interface, you have to implement the, the class setting. So we got to come here, implement, and we're going to implement our new interface. And it's right there. And we click there. And that's all set. We'll compile and save. And now all we have to do is double click on this. And it's going to lead to an event. And it's going to print a string. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to print a string print string and we'll just pop this in and we'll compile the data for the the print string for the text on the first person blueprint so this is going to receive it we've got everything implemented the only last thing we got to do is drag an instance of this onto our game and we are done on the receiving side of this whole interface so now we can just go into the first person blueprint and I won't walk you through all the errors you're going to get if you try to set up an object reference. Even if you try to set it, it doesn't work, you know, and I've tried setting it like 352 different ways. So this way works. So this is going to be set on a keyboard event and we're going to go keyboard one. I said I was going to do this by way of an object reference. So I'm still going to rely on the get actor of class, but I'm going to show you we can do it by way of an object of an object reference. So here's how we would do it. And it still relies on get actor of class. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna drag off and we're gonna go get actor of class. And we are going to get our dummy blueprint. Our dummy right here. Should be here somewhere, right there. And here's the trick. I don't know it's a trick. All we have to do is right click on this and promote this to a variable. And we can call this dummy ref, whatever we want to call it, dummy reference. And we can go ahead and make it public too. And it's now it's set. So if you do it this way, you're not going to get any can't access this, can't access that errors. So now we're all set on this side. So now all we got to do is drag this on get. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And we can just ask for our call super function. Call super function. There it is. And we're going to grab this, plug this in here. And we can just, here's our text. We can make a variable to input in here. And this could be any number of data channels that we'd be sending on and go, yes, this is my last interface <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> okay, and then we compile and save. And if everything's working, if all my calculations are correct, when I go into the game and hit play and hit one, this should appear on the screen. So we'll go hit play, I'm walking around, 
and I'll hit one. And yes, it's working by way of an object reference. But I still relied on get actor of class to set it. If you can figure out some other way to set, set it, let me know if it works. Okay, take care and have a great day.